This video is an oral history featuring Bruce Warner, a historian who is the longest living resident in Franklinton. Over the years, he has been a strong advocate for the neighborhood and has given back to his community in many ways. He and his wife, Judy, participate in Franklinton Farms Community Supported Agriculture Program. Franklinton is a neighborhood on the west side of Columbus, Ohio. It was established in 1797 and was the first settlement in the area. After several devastating floods, Franklinton was declared a floodplain and the community went into decline as many who could afford to moved. It is, however, a resilient community that is on the rise, aided in part by organizations like Franklinton Farms. Franklinton Farms is a nonprofit urban farm in the Franklinton neighborhood that is dedicated to growing and sharing food, creating beauty, and building community with its neighbors. I originally from, I was born in Ashland, Ohio. Okay. Which is yeah. north of Mansfield. And uh, my father was killed in the service in, in, in 1944. Okay. And my mother sold everything she had, pretty much, except kept a few things. And uh, put in storage. When you moved to California, they would get you to Sam the Desert and a trailer. One of the trailers was very unhappy mm -hmm. uh, there. I was in the first grade. And uh, my mother moved back then okay. to Finley, where my father's parents lived. So I went, so I went through there, went up into the sixth grade there, and then moved to Columbus okay. in 1950. Okay. And moved down to German Village in City Park. Okay. She, she was, she was, she had no desire to live Frank, leave Frank, no, none, zero, zip, not. And this was her home. This was her house. But they, this wasn't the family home. They no, bought no. this house. We bought mm. this. We bought this house. Franklinton was our home, not this house. Yeah. Gotcha. Bought this house for $10,000. $9,009 to be exact. Judy says the reason she moved to Franklin was because she could have a clothesline and a have chicken. This, this has always been a, a mixed neighborhood. Mm -hmm. It's always been a working class neighborhood. Right. And and um, there are there are millionaires live in Franklin. Believe it or not, there are. Oh, I believe it. <laughs> and uh, and uh, there are and there are very very poor people. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's I, been fun too. My neighbor across the street, next to the tulip lady, was getting this and had no clue what to do with the vegetables because I'm getting the same stuff. So I'm telling, hey, there's the recipe here. And one of the issues too, they would say to use a teaspoon of Spice X. Well, Spice X costs $6 a jar. Ooh. And all you're gonna use is a teaspoon. That's been an issue. So I'd say, hey, you've got to try this recipe. And by the way, I've got some cumin, I'll give you a teaspoon. That, that's the way that's worked on my street. Um, the quality of, of life here for you that makes it worth Building neighborhood, out. neighborhood. Across the street from me, there are all Habitat for Humanity houses. And they moved in about the same time we did. Immediately across the street, there was a woman, and I knew these people came in broke. You know, by the time you buy your curtains, you've got no money left. And I bought a whole flat of petunias. And after I'd planted my petunias, I went across the street and said, would you like some petunias to put in your yard? Well, yes, thank you. And then I handed her some and she stood there and looked at me. I said, is there a problem? She said, I've never planted a flower. 